Hello teacups, what's brewing? So we got a day one update from Anne Boleyn. Uh, I went into the YouTube, so I was just about to settle down for the night, and there she was. So I was like, oh, that's perfect timing. I haven't taken my makeup off yet. Let's do this. <laughs> One of the great things about her videos being so short is that I can just get in and go. It's really easy. I don't have to, like, cut out all the dead space the way I have to do with um, Foodie. Speaking of Foodie, we also got, it seems, a four, over four-hour live about her basically popping THC. It was like a cannabis haul or something. I, I'm not breaking that down, you guys. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I've watched about 45 minutes of it while I was getting ready this morning. Um, I'm still waiting on a pre-recorded video from her. If she starts going back to pre-recorded, I'll start looking at it again. But it's been a relief kind of not to break them down. So let's get into this video. Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. Hello. <laughs> I do like this intro, but I will um, probably just lower the volume on it from now on, or maybe cut out entirely. It just she's never gonna do it herself because too many people have told her to do it. I'm guessing. Um, let's just. I want to say okay. about there we go about her makeup. I actually very much like that kind of duck egg blue she's got going over her liner. I think that's um, quite pretty on her, to be completely honest. But. I've seen her in this kind of magenta lip before and I don't love it as a colour on her. I think it is very, very harsh and I think the edges look a little bit untidy. She'd do well with a liner here. Um, I think the colour does go really well with the eyes if you're looking for that kind of very bright poppy makeup, but I don't think the pink is a great colour on her in general. So that's, that's my thoughts on that, but I appreciate the eyeliner. She is good at eyeliner. And uh, in a way, I quite envy. <laughs> but um, I, I like that colour for her. Day one of me being on Jenny Craig. So Exciting. in this video and in the next 30 videos, I am going to Ooh. show you... Okay, so apparently, again, I'm not overly confident that she'll get to the end of that, but 30 videos, that's kind of nice. Even if it's only a plan, a wish, a dream, a hope. Uh, she wasn't entirely explicit about it in her last video, and I did end up thinking, okay, well, she's probably going to group some together and uh, then claim that as, you know, a few days of content and put it together in one video. But she's saying right now 30. She's saying we're going to get one every day. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be up for doing this every day, but I'm here for it. What I ate, we're going to be eating. Let's do it. We're going to be taste testing. I'm going to be talking about my weight, how I feel. Etc. Okay. Etc. And I think it's gonna be super fun, and I'll be losing weight on the way. So Ooh. before I start with my <laughs> the little the little head thing, um, I hope she does. I I think I wouldn't put that much attitude into it right now, considering this is the fourth attempt. But I'm glad she's excited and feeling motivated. That's always helpful. My first meal. I want to show you my weight for today. Let's Five, do this. Forty-five point eight. So. I'm just gaining and gaining and gaining, and I, I feel sympathize. miserable. I, <laughs> I don't know the breathe feeling. well anymore. I don't have as much stamina. I don't have as Aww. much energy. It it's kind of sad to hear it all like that. I know she was right before her cancer surgery, which is really the last time I was following her super regularly. Um, I know she had been very successful in just dropping uh, weight and preparing for the surgery. Her mum was there. She seemed to be eating a lot more healthily a lot more um, whole foods, and it just seemed to be really positive for her. So it's a shame she's back up there, but sometimes you just gotta face the number and get going, you know? Things hurt more. I'm just ultimately tired of gaining weight. So with Jenny That's Craig, good. everything is planned out for you, um, but you do get to choose your own fruits, your own vegetables, your own fats, your own proteins, where it says protein. Okay. Fruit. I don't know and much about their program, I'll so that's good to know. I'll show you more as um, the meals go on and the days go on. But the first thing I am eating is a recharge bar. This is nut and hon honey. Honey! This is nut and honey bar. It has <laughs> Words are hard and the struggle is real. Um, these, can I say these recharge bars just seem like a gimmick? <laughs> I was watching, I didn't see it all unfortunately yet, but uh, Pulpy was looking into this. 
and he was saying okay they're nuts on the honey and you know that that can be fine uh, it's possible to overeat but it can be fine but it seemed when he looked it up it seemed like there was uh, a little bit of confusion over whether you can eat those while you're fasting whether it's something to just start you up if it's just nuts and honey then yeah it's going to give you a hit of energy the honey the sugar is probably going to do that if you're feeling a bit low from having fasted but in, in the end of the day, it's just a bar. Like, it's, it's kind of gimmicky, I think. But like I said, if it's part of a program, if she is keeping to kind of her calorie limit using it, and if it helps her, then I don't think it's as beneficial as it's necessarily framed, but neither do I think it's harmful. And she does like a bar. And pecans drizzled with honey. No artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners. So okay. this is gonna be my first. There's thing no I'm artificial sweeteners. I'm guessing there's a lot of honey. We fast for 14 hours. We can eat for 10, okay. and we fast for 14. And this is the first thing, and it's supposed to recharge you. So, okay, let's try it. Okay, it looks like one of those bars that I hate. <laughs> what? <laughs> like those Lara bars? Oh no. Does she hate Lara bars? I thought she loved Lara bars. Didn't she used to have them in a huge jar? Oh, if you've been watching Amber for a while, do you remember the huge jar of bars she used to have sitting on her counter? And then she did that video ages ago where she emptied them all out and they were all expired. It was so, it was so wasteful. But I feel like we have seen her eat Lara bars before and her enjoying them. I did a quick search for bars. She has a ton of like quest bar reviews from early on in her channel. Um, I couldn't find it to be fair, so maybe I'm mixing it up with Cliff Bars because I know she's definitely eaten those. But girl likes a protein bar. I thought she loved Lara Bars, but maybe I'm remembering wrong. Let me know below. It smells good. It smells nutty. Well, it's made sure. of nuts, so. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm not here to mess around, I'm not getting sponsored. I am paying, paying for Jenny Craig myself. I feel like she should be getting sponsored for this, to be completely honest. I feel like she's got enough subscribers behind her she could have reached out and been like, Hey! Give me stuff! I'll do things! Uh, but it's not her way to take advantage of those things, I suppose, which is odd because I it makes sense to me if she's saying I want to do a weight loss journey, I'm famously big on the internet and I have a decent following. It seems like any kind of weight loss program would sort of jump on her for that. But who knows? Let's do this. Why does she always look so like, like it's going to reach out and bite her back? <laughs> She's, it's food. It's you're going to like it. You're going to dislike it. I got some it. stuff to my tooth, but it's good. Before anyone asks, why are you eating in your bedroom? I just didn't even occur to me. Here, the setup, etc., etc. This is good, honestly. I'm glad she likes it. I hope that means she. I hope. I hope that doesn't mean she's going to be tempted to overeat on them because I'm guessing there's a limit to how many you should have of these a day. I don't dislike anything from Jenny Craig. Like good. in my opinion, it all tastes really good. But, Why um, did you throw it away last time then? I have switched up a little bit, so got some new things to try. Plus the first okay, time good. I did Jenny Craig, I only did it for six days, so. Yep, I'll let's see, let's see you do better. Up. All right, you guys, all so right. it's time for actual breakfast. So I have oh, half. Oh, is the recharge bar not breakfast then? Because it's literally breaking her fast, I think. I think. So would this not be a snack? I have a banana. We all know what a banana tastes like. Yep. A Jenny Craig shake. Okay, banana protein shake. Which doing the thing. I had before and Ooh, I what's on around there? That it was pretty cat decent, scratch, I'm so guessing. Let's see if I still like such a thing. I mean I don't think it's probably changed that much. She'll be fine with it. It's gonna taste like a protein shake. <laughs> I like it. Good. Nothing wrong with it. Perfect. It's pretty tasty. I also get apple cinnamon oatmeal. Sounds quite nice. So, let's try it together. I'm kind of nervous because I'm not an oatmeal fan. So, there. I always get confused, and I said kind of a little bit a second ago. She makes such a dramatic deal about being nervous about trying food. She's done this before in other videos with things not related to Jenny Craig as well. It's not just the Jenny Craig thing. Uh, which is like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. 
bad, like it's food. It's not deep fried tarantulas on the side of the road in China. It's, it's oatmeal. You might not like it, but that's gonna be the very worst you do here. You're not eating caterpillars. There is bits of apple in there for sure. So this is what okay. it looks like. I mean, it looks like oatmeal, whatever. <sighs> oh, it smells great. Try it, find out. What's the matter with you? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Why? What had happened was I entered the cliff. I went to put this in the microwave for a little bit longer because I like things okay. hot. Okay. I thought I was filming. I tried it and I wasn't filming. Well, you, you know what a really good thing would have been to do then? Turn the camera back on because you've clearly got food left in that container. Take a bite and go, hmm, or ugh. I don't like it, or whatever your reaction's gonna be. <laughs> that, that happens, you know, like camera fuck ups happen, but I, not that big a deal. <sighs> so, I was afraid to try it. I ended up Ridiculously. trying it, and I like it. Oh, good for you. I'm getting a bit soft Honestly, there, sorry. <laughs> what I love about this is that there's not much sugar in it, it's super sweet. You know, we got the apple, and there's a little bit of sugar, I'm sure. And there's some cinnamon, and it... <laughs> That's a little bit of a mixed message. I like that it's not... It hasn't... Did you say not very sweet, but it is sweet. I wonder if it's got artificial sugars in. I, I'm, I'm guessing, or if they're just relying on honey again, but... Whatever, she likes sweet things. I don't know why she would be like, oh, I'm glad it's not sweet. Seems an odd reaction. It just tastes really good. And I'm, I'm glad used it to good. like Quaker oatmeal, like tasting like super sugary. So Quaker does tell taste that like that, to be fair. My dad a loves it. Option, you know? Hmm. She doesn't. Mm. I like it. And obviously okay. we Let's leave her. That yeah, banana. she does. I love bananas now. And if you guys have been watching me from the get up, Mm. I used to hate bananas. That is true. They used to make me gag, like literally, and they don't anymore. That's you can nice. truly teach yourself to like certain like veggies or fruit. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think if you like something, you like it, but your tastes do change over time, to be sure. I mean, taste buds regenerate after a certain amount of time, don't they? Um, so, <laughs> this freeze frame. <laughs> That face, that's the teaching face she does, uh, guys. <laughs> I love it, I love it, bless you. But um, I, I think sometimes you can learn to prepare things a certain way, but in terms of a raw banana, it seems odd that she would go from such a vehement hatred to, to loving it, but given that it seems to factor heavily in the, uh, in the program, let's be grateful for it, eh? <laughs> Because I've taught myself to like bananas. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. All right, you guys. Next meal. I'm a little bit out of breath. I'm fat. I was up cooking. It is what it is. So okay. I get the other half of my banana. And oh. then Can I... I'm oh, having spaghetti and meatballs, which is Jenny Craig meal. And then I cooked my veggie, which is cauliflower, on the stove. This is just regular fresh veggie. But reason why it looks so delicious mm -hmm. is because I cooked it with tapatio, pepper, and garlic salt. Naka. Hmm. Tapatio seems like it would be quite acidic for this, but she loves tapatio, so if it's making it better, um, better for her, if it's making it more palatable for her, then great. Uh, the meal itself, I think a couple of things. One, it's nice to see things on a plate after my time with Chantel. Uh, two, it doesn't look that great. It looks like it's kind of come out of a can, but, and it looks quite small by itself, but it seems, as she said, that they're getting more uh, vegetables and fruits in with this program. Together, it's a decent sized meal. So it, it's working for what it is. It does make me question whether what it is is worth the money of Jenny Craig, but let's, let's get her through it, shall we? Why? I wanna try this first. Mm. Oh, she clearly likes it. That's something. <laughs> it's so good. Good. Mm. I don't know 
anyone could not like cauliflower. Maybe you're just not cooking it right. All right, now nice. <laughs> it is time for the spaghetti. I don't remember if I have this. I mean, it's going to taste like packaged spaghetti. It's going to be fine, probably. It's going to be fairly good. unoffensive. Looks good. Yeah, it's pasta. It'll be fine. Tastes like homemade spaghetti. I very much doubt that, unless your homemade spaghetti is terrible. Mm. I mean, she enjoys it. She can maybe do with breathing. Huh? Maybe the next step could be mindfully eating it, <laughs> which mindful eating, intuitive eating, let's not get too crazy. But yeah, I mean, she liked it. It's a taste test. It's on camera. So, you know, that's just part of her life, her vlog, her channel. But uh, she's eaten it very quick. Maybe having tried it, be like, guys, I'm going to enjoy it and sit down and focus on the food because that will help with the feeling of being satiated. <laughs> All right. Comes with three meatballs. Only three. Cutting in half to see how it looks on the inside. It actually looks delicious. I'm surprised if it's only three. That doesn't seem like so much. This meal tastes homemade, bro. Bro. That concerns me. <laughs> but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm gonna go finish this. Okay, good plan. Okay, so it's a change of scenery here. Yeah. Next, I'm having 1% um, milk. Okay. A string cheese. An apple. And... Some lunch meat. <laughs> oh. I'm really hungry. I'm. It's head hunger because I'm not like physically hung hungry at all. Um. I just I I'm, I'm so used to like ordering takeout and I'm trying everything I can not to. Okay, there's a couple of things in there I actually think were very positive. I think just recognizing it as head hunger is a good thing. Um, it doesn't always help you, but because you're still hungry for whatever reason, but it's it's good to recognize these moments and to try and identify why you want that food, which she's doing. She's saying, my routine is to order out, and now I wanna order out. And she doesn't look particularly satisfied with this as a snack, to be completely honest, but it seems fine. I mean, it, it's what, a little bit of lunch meat, some cheese and apple, some milk. That's decent, it's fine. But uh, I'm not sure how satisfying she's gonna find it mentally, but if she's physically satisfied, at least that's something she can identify. So I'm gonna act as if this apple is candy. Um, and devour it. It's honestly so good. I mean, you, you can pretend. If you're trying to pretend it's candy, it's probably not going to fill that hole, but it's good to try, and I'm glad she is at least attempting. Honey crisp apple. My God, mm. that is a bite. Okay. This is hitting the spot. Hey guys. Okay, so yes, she was obviously craving a little bit of sugar there then, and and the apple is help. That's good. Trying to move, move. It's actually the middle of the night. You be comfortable. Um, Why? I ended up falling asleep with my makeup on, so I'm gonna go take it off. But I want to give you a little update on day one. I ended up falling off a of plan. I ended up uh, having some jasmine not a surprise, rice, but, uh -huh. some Asian trail mix, and some ice cream. So, okay, so these seem like they are just stock photos. We don't know the amount she had of any of these things. She does tend to refer to a Ben and Jerry, a pint being a serving, which is not promising. Let's see what she has to say about it, and then we'll talk about it. Oh, I am... Still gonna keep going. You guys need to come back tomorrow for day two. I'm gonna weigh in. We're gonna see if I gained weight from the little mishap or we're gonna see if I lost weight because overall, um, in my humble opinion, I feel like I ate a lot better today than I usually do. So yeah, that was day one and you Okay, in terms of a lot better than I usually do, she might have, but as we sometimes talk about with Chantel, 
doing better than you were doing doesn't necessarily mean you're doing good um, or you're doing something that you could argue that anything better is better, you know, but um, doing things that will necessarily help you see progress. Uh, I would say as well, I realise that she's living with Becky, so she's got more limited control over this perhaps, but Becky is generally supportive. She could, if um, she wanted to, or if she were willing to, she could, uh, she could help with this. Something I found particularly with my weight gain and some of the problems I'm facing right now is that I can't control the environment my food is in. So I can buy my food, but then I can't tell my entire family, no, you don't get to eat bread, you don't get to eat sugar, you don't get to have chocolate in the house, you don't get to have chips or any of the things that I find very hard to resist that are currently very easily readily available. And one of the tools I find that are very important, that is very important to my success is being able to create a kind of failure free environment because then if I don't have the food here, it doesn't matter how I feel, I don't have the food. So <laughs> I can be climbing the walls craving chocolate. If there's no chocolate in the house, I'm shit out of luck. And I think she would benefit. We know that white rice is a big thing for her. We know that ice cream is a big thing for her. There is no reason for these things to be in the house, I don't think. And yes, of course, she could order out. She's got the ability to do that. No one's holding a gun to her head and saying, you must eat these things. But I think she would find it beneficial. And I think Becky cares enough for her that she wants her health to be a priority. Or I think anyone that cares for someone would want their health to be a priority. So if she spoke to Becky and had a serious conversation, I'm sure Becky would be willing to, if not give up those things with her, then to limit where those things are in terms of accessibility and try and keep them out of mind, out of sight or do whatever they agree to do. Um, I think she'd probably find that to be a little more beneficial in the long run. Let's just see, I don't have long left on this video, so let's see what she says and then we'll continue. You know, I did feel really guilty and ashamed and all that, but just because I started a new program doesn't mean that I'm just gonna change at the snap of a finger, it just doesn't work that way. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay. I would say to an extent that's true, especially it seems to be her kind of routine where she's she falls asleep and then she's awake in the night. I was like, why Why did she fall asleep? Did she just wake up and then's like, oh no, I have to get up and take my makeup off? Or is her sleeping schedule out of whack again, which is something she's discussed multiple times on her channel. And so is she just awake during odd hours? Because having an irregular schedule is going to make it so much harder to resist the things that you shouldn't be eating and the cravings are always worse kind of late at night and if you're not sleeping well that's only going to make that worse so yeah i'd say get rid of the stuff out of your house if that's an option limit where it is if it's not an option but i wouldn't necessarily call today uh tool tomorrow day two i'd call it day one and just say okay this was a false start it is very normal when you're trying to make these changes to have false starts but if we remember her previous attempt attempt attempts did she film her first attempt with jenny craig or have we only seen one i remember her last time it did become a pattern where it was like okay no i've done the right things here but now i've just gone completely off track and we were seeing that again and again and then we got the panera bread so yes it does absolutely happen but if she wants to be successful on the program it's something she's really got to get a grip on because as with anything, if you're not consistent with it, you're not gonna see the results. So I hope tomorrow goes better for her. I understand completely why she's struggling. Let's hope she takes herself seriously enough to maybe clear out the stuff she shouldn't be eating. I think that would be a great next step. I'm hoping, I'm not hopeful because I've been on this merry-go-round with her before, but let's see what tomorrow holds. Okay, everybody, I will see you next time. I'm just going to pop this into the editor, pull it up on YouTube, and I'll talk to you with the next video. Bye-bye.